Today was good. Tempo was good. They had a lot of energy. You know, we stayed out. We, we practice a little bit longer in the spring than we do in, uh, in the fall, but that's because we're not getting ready for a game. They have a, they'll always have a day off in between practices, and then we'll come back and practice on Thursday. But for the first day, I thought they were really sharp. They had great energy. Quarterback position? Yep. They're throwing it around, slinging it around. Unfortunately for us, we don't have to pick a starter until New Mexico, so that's a long ways away. It's just about getting those guys reps, and I, I thought both those guys made, did some good things today. They made some mistakes, but that's to be expected on day one. You sure you won't? Decide earlier than that. I have no idea. I don't even. I mean, we could decide. I could decide tomorrow, but I'll tell you. Okay. Jeremiah okay. caught some balls. Say, what, what's he what's dropped some balls too. What's his role going to be? As he's just going to practice with us, but he's really not going to take a lot of reps at quarterback because he's not going to play for quarterback for us next fall. So he'll step in and help out where he can help out. We have some receivers that are banged up right now, mm -hmm. so if he's going to go play out there, if he's going to give us a look, he's just going to be a practice player for us. There's some question about his role and Kiko's role. What was the determination in deciding they, they should practice with you? There were never any questions about their role or Kiko's role, so they did exactly what we planned on them doing. So is that what Jeremiah kind of will be? I mean, if you need a he needs somebody to hold the dummy, needs somebody to run practice, needs somebody to do different things. He's, he understands his role in this team. Chip, are you surprised that Jeremiah is here right now? No, I'm not. What, did you have a chance to watch any of the newcomers today? Yeah, a couple of those guys stood out. You know, Terrence and Dior and James Scales were the three new kids, and, and I was really, really pleased with them. They, you know, the, 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 the one thing about them is you didn't know they were newcomers. You had to kind of look over. You know, they didn't really, they stepped up. You know, you watch them right from the beginning in three on two and competition type things. And, you know, they got bright eyes and they got smiles on them. Sometimes, you know, it, I think we forget th those three kids were in a, eating hot lunches in high school on Friday. And now they're out here practicing in college and went to their first classes yesterday. So, you know, to transition like they did, I was really impressed with all three of those guys. How'd you like the offensive tempo today? It was okay. We need to get, you know, we're, we're getting back into it. We're getting about two plays a minute we need to get a little bit faster but for the first day was you know we're pleased but we still got to continue to work on that is that going to be one of the big adjustments i mean jeremiah kind of had that uh, you know towards the end of last season all of last season really kind of had that tempo down and he was really comfortable i mean is that going to be one of the challenges this spring no you know i think nate and darren did a nice job with it it's a lot of times it's a byproduct of the other guys he's got some young receivers out there still trying to figure out the play and some of those other things but i, I thought the quarterbacks handled it pretty the two older quarterbacks handled it pretty well darren darrell's still kind of young but um i was impressed with you know, the way Darren and Nate kind of stepped up. Now it's a matter of getting those other guys on the same page. Anticipate having the mic back on the Yeah, he'll be here on Thursday, yeah. Good to get back to football. Is it a two-man job at quarterback, would you say, right now? No, it's whoever can step up. You know, I'm not going to count Darrell out, but we don't have to pick a quarterback until, you know, the September or whatever when we play New Mexico. So, you know, it, it could go to then, it could go earlier, but, you know, I won't count Darrell out of anything. I just know Darrell hasn't gotten the quality reps and he's never played in a game. I know Darren's played in a game for us. I know Nate's played in a game for us. So they have a little bit of an experience factor over over Darrell, but that doesn't mean Darrell's out of the mix by any stretch of imagination. Do you see it's Jeremiah? That, uh, two guys could share the job? I, mean, I have no, I mean, it's ways you, away. Are you, in that, are you ever in that mindset? I have no that? idea. I'm in the mindset of winning. So if that'll help us win, then, then we'll do it. But we, Literally haven't talked about any positions or everything. Which today, and, and through the spring, it's always been is can how many reps can we get for everybody? Because, you know, who's our next offensive lineman in there? You know, Carson York's out right now, so who's that guy going to be? Who who's going to who are the guys that are going to step at receiver? You know, where are we going to get our tight ends? You know, so it, who are we going to get reps at defensive tackle? So, it, picking who's going to play right now it doesn't really mean anything because you have no idea. You know, you can get to the first week of the first game, and then someone rolls an ankle, and you got to go with the other guy. So it's just, can we get them all quality reps? And you know, th this whole deal is a process, and we're just in the beginning of the process. So. How did you see it, Darren? How did Darren do? They did. Oh, you know, I don't until until I see the tape and get a chance. But I was, you know, they, they made some good plays and threw threw a couple of balls, it was off balance a little bit, and some throws. But you know, overall, I was happy watching practice. But then, you know, you'll watch the practice tape, and then really that's where you get to make your corrections. More so would you say Jeremiah yeah, being here is a distraction at all? Nope. Unless you guys think it is. Do you think he's going to stick it out through the whole season? I do. But we'll see. What options were you guys talking about when you met yesterday? Wait, what? When you when you and Jer Jeremiah met yesterday to talk about sort of his future. And we just talked about his future, so we talked about those future options. More relief or excitement to get this started today to get back to playing football? You're always excited when you start playing practice. You know, that's the fun part. You know, I had an opportunity last week to go watch Oklahoma and Oklahoma State practice, so kind of got the juices flowing on last Tuesday and last Wednesday. And this is always an exciting time of year because you get to get back out. Um, no matter what happened during your winter term, this is the first day you get to go back out and work with these kids. You know, they've been with Jimmy Radcliffe all winter, but we haven't really had any interaction in terms of coaching those guys. And you finally get a ball out there. And some of the things you talked about in, in your studies in the offseason, what you want to try to add new, you're excited to get those looks. So this is for any college football coach. This is a real fun time of year. So.